Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here with my spicy wife, Laura. I'm here with my straw of a husband, Nathan. And we're here for the brand new French fries, hot and spicy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to these. Um, we've reviewed some other flavours of French fries and they've mixed responses. I think generally more positive than negative, so mm. hopefully these will be a, a, a nice, plain, simple, sort of just a spicier, regular fry. Hmm. Um, if you haven't seen them, they kind of look like fries or like hot... French fries. Hot French fries, thank ones, you. Yeah. Um, but they are a dry, crunchy snack. Crunchy potato straws, there you go. Um, they've had a lot more flavours come out recently whereas for a long time yeah, there was back, only back like in standard my day, ones. <laughs> you got this and maybe salt and vinegar I think existed back then. Hmm. Right. Now if you're looking for these we picked these up at 7-Eleven in Australia. They might be available at other places but that's where I found them. Hmm, look like they've got quite hmm. a bit of seasoning on them. Are they spicy smelling? Well they smell familiar. I'm trying to think maybe Nathan can pick no. They just smell like regular like seasoned no, no, there's something. They smell like something I've had before. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. It depends on what it is, but I just can't think of them. All right. Hopefully someone out there is like, they thought the same thing when they smelt them and they can let me know what it is we're smelling. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've just both looked at each other like, what? So, okay. Where, where, where's the hot? Where's okay. the spicy? It's quite a nice tasting seasoning they've got on there. Yeah. But I really don't think you can call it hot and spicy. It'd be like the equivalent of putting a bit of like pepper on some chips, maybe. They smell like light and tangy chips, maybe? One of those Thins or Smith's brands I think you're getting. Mm. Um... It builds up a slight amount in the back of the throat. <laughs> We're talking real slight. But yeah, I mean... This is probably going to sound weird, but I've just licked a couple of them. <laughs> and I mean, it's it's like, you know, sometimes you might have just like some pepper in your meal and occasionally a little bit of pepper hits the back of your throat yep. and you go, oh, there's some pepper. It's more like that experience rather than spicy. And even then, it's barely there. It's pleasant though. They taste nice. It's just not hot or spicy. You so know, it's no flaming Dorito. It is not. No wasabi Dorito. No, <laughs> nothing like those experiences. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, we don't have to always like everything, but we like if they do what they say they're On the meant to do. On the packaging. So yeah. if something tastes like banana, like milkshake, I want it to taste like banana milkshake, You're even right. if we both hate it. Yes. And this is not hot and spicy. They have not succeeded here. Yeah, they need all. a bit more kick to it, please. I would feed these to my mum, and she doesn't like spicy things. Ooh. And she she would easily have these as a Them snack. fighting words. Yeah, yeah. She, she's not a spice fan, and yeah, she would have no issue with these. So, yeah, I mean, they're fine. Yeah. Well, inoffensive, but, you know, pretty toothless. And yeah, well, I mean, they're just, they're just, anyway, they're not what they say they are, are they? So mm. Mm. if you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section down below. Did you give them a go? And were you a little disappointed on the spice level as well? Mm. Hit that subscribe button. Um, did I already say that? No, you didn't. Uh, well, you better do that then. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.